Want some help? No, I'm okay. You just go park the car. Okay. I think I need to see a doctor. I'm having some chest pain and some trouble breathing. All right, have a seat just a moment. Let me call a nurse. Okay. Yes, we have a chest pain up, uh, up front. Thank you very much. All right, and what's your last name? Butler. And your first name? Stewart. Have you ever been a patient at this hospital before? No. All right, may I have your date of birth? March 20th, 1952. Sandy, this is Mr. Butler. He woke up this morning short of breath and had some chest pain. Oh, hi, Mr. Butler. My name is Sandy. I'm on the RN oh. here. Um, can you tell me your chest pain on a scale of 0 to 10? Probably a 7. Probably a 7? Okay. Can you think you can move over to this wheelchair for me? Yeah, it's just probably indigestion. I can walk. No, sir. I'd really rather you take you by the wheelchair in case it is your heart. But I don't want you inserting yourself. Okay. Could you come by yourself? Uh, no, my wife brought me. She's parking the car. Okay. Here. Um, what we'll do is when your wife finishes the registration progress process, we'll let her back in with you, okay? All right. All right. Mr. Butler, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you go over here to the stretcher. And we're okay. going to change him to down so we can do an EKG. Do we really need to do all that? I just need something for indigestion. Well, sir, your symptoms indicate it could, you could be having a heart attack. So it is necessary for the doctor to properly diagnose you and treat you. Hi, Mr. Okay. Butler. I'm Stephanie. I'm one of the other RNs here. Hello. Okay, can I have you sit up and we can get your gown on, sir? Okay. Mr. Butler, have you ever had an EKG before? No. Okay, this is a little lead that I put on you. It's an electrical tracing of your heart. It is painless. It actually takes us longer to hook it up than it does to run the test. Sure seems like a lot of trouble to me. Well, but not if it's your heart. It's not too much trouble ever. Hello, Mr. Butler. Hello. Dr. Lawrence, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, doctor. What's going on today? What brought you in here? I woke up this morning having some trouble breathing. A little bit shortness of breath, and my, my chest just kind of hurts a little bit. Probably indigestion or something like that. Okay. And this all started, what, less than an hour, half an hour ago, you say? Yeah, about 7.30. Okay. You ever had these problems before? No. What about chest pain? Any problem like that? No. All right, then we'll hold still real quick, and don't say anything. We'll get an EKG, which is an electrical picture of your heart, and then we'll see where to go from there, okay? Okay. You still relaxed? Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm the nurse. Hi. Dr. Butler, Dr. Lawrence, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Tiana. Thank you. Mr. What? Butler, I'm going to leave these leads hooked up to you in case we need a repeat EKG. Okay, sir? Yes, we just pulled off an EKG, which is an electrical picture of his heart. And according to this EKG, it looks like you're in the early stages of a heart attack. So, Stephanie, we need to activate the STEMI protocol. Thank you. As I was saying, this. It shows that you're in the early stages of a heart attack. PHI or medical, this is Mitch. Hi, this is Stephanie at Sweeney Community Hospital, and we have a STEMI patient that we need to fly. Has any other flight program turned this flight request down for weather or safety reasons? No. Are there any other aircraft in or outbound from your helipad? No. Okay, and what facility will you need to be flying the patient to? St. Luke's Houston. All right, please hold on the line while I get the closest aircraft headed your direction. Okay. THM at 9, you're being requested to launch for an inner facility transport Sweeney Community Hospital to St. Luke's. Sweeney Community Hospital to St. Luke's. Midnight. Midnight, Roger. Sweeney to St. Luke's. Okay, Midnight's been notified. They'll be coming out of Richmond and they'll be there in about 23 minutes. Uh, what unit is the patient coming out of? Emergency room. What unit is the patient going to be going to? Cath lab. How much does the patient weigh? 300 pounds. 
and what's the patient's name and date of birth? Stuart Butler. Date of birth is March 20th, 1952. Okay, thank you very much. Med9 will be there to help you out in about 22 minutes. Okay, thank you. Sweetie, Mrs. Brian. Hey, Brian, this is Stephanie. I just called PHI. We have a STEMI patient that they're going to transport, and their ETA is about 20 minutes. Okay, we'll secure the landing zone. Okay, thanks. And you're not taking any medications for any problems? Not right now. All right. Your kidneys are working fine as far as you know? As far as I know. St. Luke's STEMI transfer you? line, this is Chris. Are you requesting a transfer for an ED STEMI patient? Yes, this is Stephanie at Sweeney Community Hospital. Please spell the patient's first and last name for me. First name is Stewart, S-T-U-A-R-T. -T. Last name is Butler, B-U-T-L-E-R. Patient's date of birth and the transferring ED physician's name. Date of birth is March 20th, 1952. Doctor's name is uh, Dr. Lorenz. Your callback number in the ED? 979-548-1572. Has the patient ever been admitted to St. Luke's before? No. Have you called for transport? Yes. Do you have an ETA at St. Luke's? The patient should arrive at your facility in about 45 minutes. Okay, I'll be calling you back shortly and connecting you to the on-call interventional cardiologist for a doctor doc report. Please proceed with transfer. You have approval for transfer. Thank you so much. Mr. Butler, I'm going to give you some medication here. This is an aspirin and this is some Plavix, 600 milligrams of Plavix. I'll take this off for a minute. Okay. I'm going to give you 4,000 units of heparin in your IV. It acts also as a blood thinner. Okay. Mr. Beller, I'm going to ask you a few more questions while she's giving you those medications. Okay. And this is just to, to see if it's safe to give you a, a type of medication called a clot buster, uh, which is um, a blood thinner also. Um, and I think you can based on the history that you've already given me, but just going to go over a few more things. And uh, you already told me you haven't had any uh, abnormal internal bleeding like ulcers and, and no inflammation or infection in your heart, correct? Correct. This is second nitroglycerin. Let this one dissolve under your tongue. Where is your pain now on a zero to ten? That's still a seven. Still a seven. Okay, morphine, I guess. We'll give you a couple of milligrams of morphine then to see if we can get your Stephanie, pain could under you bring me some control. morphine? Okay. And have you ever had any problems with your vision uh, related to bleeding in your eye? No. Okay, good. And you've, hit, you've said that you have no diabetes, so nobody's ever told you you had any problems with your retina of your eye, secondary to diabetes, right? No. Okay. And you, you probably have never undergone CPR, right? No. And you don't use any blood thinners currently? No. And uh, it doesn't appear you've had any history of strokes, is that correct? That's no uh, major surgery on your belly or anywhere else, and no trauma, right, within the last uh, three weeks? No. Okay, good. And no blood pressure problems? No. And your kidneys uh, and your liver function normally, as far as you know? As far as I know. Mr. Butler, I'm going to repeat the EKG that I did before. I don't have to hook up any lines. You're already hooked up. Okay. Dr. Lawrence, here's your repeat EKG. Thank you very much. It looks like uh, there's some very minor improvements in the EKG, but it still clearly shows that you're having a heart attack. So we're going to go ahead and proceed, you know, as I spoke of earlier, with a transfer to St. Luke's cath lab via helicopter, okay? Okay. Sweeney Community Hospital, this is Stephanie. How may I help you? I have Dr. Smith on the line to speak with Dr. Lorenz. One moment, please. Dr. Lawrence, this is Dr. Smith, the cardiologist from St. Luke's. Hello, it's Dr. Lawrence. Uh, ben Smith here, interventional cardiology at St. Luke's. I understand you've got a STEMI patient you want to transfer to us? Yes, sir. I have a 55-year-old male patient that was awakened this morning about 8 o'clock with shortness of breath and chest pain. And his wife brought him into the emergency room, and his EKD showed a 3 to 4 millimeter ST elevation in leads 1, AVL, V5, and V6. And he also had reciprocal ST depression in leads 2, 3, and AVF. We gave him two tablets of nitroglycerin with no significant relief of pain, and we've also given him 4,000 units of heparin and 600 milligrams of Plavix with an aspirin. He's having chest pain at a 5 on a scale of 10 still, 
and I was about to give him two milligrams of morphine. He takes no regular meds, but is allergic to sulfa. He has no history of diabetes, hypertension, stroke, or heart disease, and he does not report any significant medical issues. His latest vital signs are stable uh, blood pressure of 130 over 70 and a sinus rhythm of 72. Air transport is expected to get here in about five minutes, so I don't think there's any need for lytics. Estimated time of arrival to your facility should be less than 30 minutes. We have drawn routine labs and we'll fax these to you uh, if they're not available when the transport arrives. Sounds like you have the situation well in hand. When you have a chance, if you'd please fax me the EKG to my mobile phone, I would appreciate it. Have you got a pen? Yes, sir, go ahead. This is my direct fax line, 713-958-5675. And you said the ETA here is about 30 minutes from right now? Yes, sir, that's correct. Okay, I'll give you a call after the procedure and let you know how it went. That'd be great, thanks. Could you sign the MOT? Sure. Thanks. crew this is um PHI they will get you to St. Luke in the meantime I'm gonna be given while they get you ready to go I'll be giving report to your flight nurse hi this is Mr. Butler 55 year old male presented with a complaint of chest pain this morning um, 30 minutes prior to arrival along with some shortness of breath rated his pain of 7 out of 10 we have I put an 18 gauge to his left AC I've given him the 4,000 of heparin I've given him 600 of Plavix and an aspirin by mouth. In addition, I've also given him two nitroglycerin for his pain and morphine two milligrams. He's currently pain-free, zero out of 10. Um, we did an EKG, shows an anterior MI. If you'd like to see the EKG. Thank you. Um, Mr. Butler has no medical history. I believe you're allergic to sulfa, correct? Sulfa drugs from a long time ago. Okay, no medical history, no routine medications. We have talked to St. Luke's. Our doctors talked to Dr. Smith at St. Luke's, who's waiting for him at the cath lab. And here is um, the rest of your packet. We gave him an ETA of 30 minutes. Okay. Yes, sir, okay, thank you. Hi, Mr. Butler. My name's Laura. I'm going to be your flight nurse for the day. And this is Chris. He's going to be your paramedic. We're going to take care of you while you're in the helicopter and take you to St. Luke's straight to the cath lab so they can fix your heart. Are you having any pain right now? Right now. Okay. If you start having pain in the helicopter, could you just raise your hand for me and I'll talk to you and we'll take care of your pain right away. Okay. Okay. Um, is it okay with you if I get your wife to sign consent for me? Sure. Okay. Ms. Butler, can I see you for a second? Yes, ma'am. Let's go over here. Okay. This is going to give consent for me to take him in the helicopter. Okay. Deliver your husband to St. Luke's in the cath lab. Yes, ma'am. And if you don't mind, could you sign right here and then okay. print your name right here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, if you can give me a telephone number to reach you, I'll call you as soon as we get there. Oh, that'd be great. 979-709-1423. Okay, and I'll call you as soon as I can, okay? Perfect, thank no you No problem. So much. You be careful getting there. If you need instructions, the EC staff will help you get yes, where you need to go. Thank you. Okay, you can go ahead and have a seat. You ready, Chris? We'll see you in a little bit. Good I'm going to get right. Dr. Lorenz to sign consent, and we're out of here. Okay, meet you soon. Dr. Lorenz? Yes. Hi, if you don't mind, could you sign our re reason for medical transport, please? Okay, you can sign right here and print your name here and then check the appropriate boxes. Ms. Butler, it's going to take us about 23 minutes from when we lift. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. We'll get there as quick as possible and I'll let y'all know how he does. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Butler? Yes, um, This is Mr. Butler's clothes. Thank you. Uh, are you aware, do you know how to get to the medical center? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is directions to the medical center. This tells you for St. Luke's parking garage too. Okay. This gives diagrams where your entrance would be. The staff will be more than happy to help you when you get there. And there's yes, phone numbers in case you need information. Thank you so very You're much. You're so welcome. Please thank keep you. us informed and let us know how things yes, go. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very thank much. You. 